Hello Chili fans. I've just been having my lunch, which has been Dragon's Fire Chili, and I thought it's not really Dragon's Fire enough. What I want for Dragon's Fire, not this uh, chili chutney, I want this chili sauce da bomb. Now that was beginner. This is turning pro. And I've had this, this was gifted to me as an excellent present for Christmas. And look how much of it I've used. Let's compare it to Psycho Juice, which uh, I don't think you can see the, the level, but it's about there. Uh, this Psycho Juice was opened slightly earlier. That was a schoolboy error than this one. They're both similar level hot sauces um, and they take a long time to get through. So basically, if you're gonna buy this, it's not for somebody who just likes Encona, it's for somebody who likes super hot sauces. As I already know what it tastes like, I know what I'm in for here, but what I'm gonna do is gonna put a little drop on a cracker, on a, on a oat cake, just to see what the flavor's like. Now, first thing that you want to notice with this is the pour. It comes out really quick and, oh, there we go. My partner, well, she said, what's the least hot sauce that you've got? The le what's the, the least hot? I, I, I had this and Psycho Juice and I said this, it's the least hot. It was an honest answer and she poured it like, Way! Yeah, I struggled with that because I, I couldn't, I, you cannot waste this sauce. It comes all the way from the USA, so it costs you. So this is how much I had. This is a finger and it's a tiny amount on here. I'm holding off eating it because I feel like I'm about to cry um, if I eat this. But nevertheless, let's do it. You need to do it at some point. Really get it around the mouth. There's an immediate sharp fire that's building. I can feel it building. It's all around my mouth. It's not got anywhere to go. And already I'm feeling the burn on this side. There's a, there's a fruitiness to it as well. Because this uses, it's beyond insanity. I can feel the tears coming. It uses Hanabero and chipotle and I thought it might have something else, not just hanabero. Although the hanabero is the hottest experience I had. I did the 10 hanabero chili, scotch bonnet, same thing. So you've got the juices building in the mouth, tears coming in the eyes, my nose will start going as well. Just off that small portion. I already had a bit of a preload of this, but this is irrelevant compared to this. It doesn't matter how much of it, well, maybe it does. If I had a gob full of that, obviously, that's still gonna, that's gonna be pretty hot. I'm already thinking of reaching for water. Water's pointless um, because it just moves it around your mouth. What you want is milk or an ice cream, and that will um, embed the capes in within the milky ice cream. Like vegan milk works, vegan ice cream works as well. Um, but water does not. So people who have beer, lager with the curries, it's entirely pointless. It doesn't make a damn bit of difference. Cause it just moves stuff around the mouth. So not bad. I was gonna go for a spoonful from this, but I thought that's just stupid. <laughs> the point is it's showing that it's a very hot sauce, but this sauce is hotter, Psycho Juice. So if you like this, you can gonna like this. Now the aftertaste is a fruitiness to it because it uses Hanabero Scotch Bonnet. Therefore, it has a lot more flavor, funny enough, than this, um, which is just your standard chili. It might be bird's eye chili, I'm not sure. It doesn't say what chili it is. It also has the chipotle as well. So, or chipotle. Let's see if I can taste that. I mean, there might be a bit of smoke in this there. Oh, there's a tear coming down, can you see that? There we go. Um, I'm feeling very sad today because it's summer and um, that's obviously terrible. Yes, a bit of windy pops and 
The thing is, this can, this kind of thing can induce vomiting and nausea, and it can induce shock. You could end up going to hospital if you if you're not used to this and you have a big. So don't don't do it as a joke. Do not feed some of this and pretend it's just a normal sauce because it's serious. You need to be used to it. Notice how much I had, and I'm quite used to chili sauces, and yet I'm still crying and I'm a bit sniffly. So. Basically, it's one of the best hot sauces on the market. Oh, excuse me. But you, you use it with caution. The first time you use it, use a tiny, tiny amount. The way I've been using it is um, on pizza. But yeah, you need to make sure you only do small portions. And I tend to dab it around as well. Or chips, you know, but you can't just spam, spam it on. What you can do is put it on the side of the plate and just dip your chips very delicately in it. Or, if your mouth is used to dealing with fiery things, then you can use more portions. But it's got a nuclear warning on it for a reason. So, there's only one sauce that's hotter and it's only slightly hotter. Both of these sauces though, obviously, it goes without saying, are a 5 out of 5 experience. Um, Actually, what I should say, they're both five out of five, but what I would say is this one is a better sauce, ma mainly because of the pour. So notice the pour, it's a, this one's a lot faster. So this one's tricky with the pour. It's easy to put too much on with this, less easy with this one. Um, so the Da Bomb is Da Bomb. Do get it wherever you can get it. Get both of these sauces and compare and contrast. And let me know in the comments what your feelings are at eating the bomb. And um, did you cry? Did you throw up? It's serious. Health warning. So don't use it for, as your first chilli sauce. Get in Kona like a, a normal person. Thank you very much for watching. Have an excellent day. I've finished crying now, so I think it's going to be time to watch Bridgerton soon.